Okay, so this video is number two by Mr. Michael. Um, we're going on from what we did last time in the last video, so it interlinks into one another. So last time we did hydrocarbons, we did the alkanes and alkenes, um, which is a mixture of hydrocarbons, which is hydrogen and carbon only, no other element. We did alkanes, so monkeys eat peanuts butter, and we did alkenes, every person buys pyjamas. Um, but you've got to remember they're a mixture. They're a mixture of hydrocarbons, so we've got to be able to separate them, and this is what we're talking about today, and we're going to go on to fractional distillation. There's one word that I would put as a key word, uh, which is viscous here at the top. So key word is viscous. Viscous just means how thick something is. So if I was going to put it into contents, uh, I'd say oil is more viscous than water. So it has a more thickness to it. Now, you've got to remember the reason that we want to separate these crude oils because they're a mixture. Now, mixtures are full of different things that have different boiling points. You have long chain hydrocarbons, which are giant hydrocarbons, and they have high boiling points. And then you have short chain hydrocarbons, which have lower boiling points. Again, long chain, long and thick, viscous, more viscous for long chain, and less viscous for short chain hydrocarbons. Now, the thing with lower boiling point and higher boiling point, well, we can use a, a technique of evaporation and condensation to separate them both. It's the same similar thing to when we make salt crystals. We use that evaporation and condensation process to separate the mixtures from each other. Now, the main thing and the key point you need to remember is the actual process of it. So, we can separate through fractional distillation. That's the separation process. It is not catalytic cracking. Oh, no, it's not cracking or catalytic cracking. That's something separate. So, don't get confused. It's a similar thing, but we're talking about fractional distillation in this video. So, we can separate uh, through fractional distillation. The question is how? This is a fractional distillation column. Again, spot on, use the ruler this time. Your video is getting better and better as I go along. And this is the column that we look at. So the key point here, if we're talking about evaporation and condensation, well, we need to talk about heating it, and then we need to talk about cooling it. So the highest temperatures are at the bottom, and the cooler temperatures are at the top. The crude oil is fed into here, and it starts off the process First, we go through the evaporation. And I've done a quick little step-by-step -step, uh, notes here. So I heat the crude oil, it starts to evaporate, and then hydrocarbons condense when they turn back to liquids when they reach their boiling point. The other thing you have to remember, that is the same thing for the whole process, really. But you've got to remember that long chain hydrocarbons are at the bottom, so those viscous, those large hydrocarbons that have the highest boiling points are at the bottom. And the short chain hydrocarbons, the smaller hydrocarbons that have uh, lower boiling points are the less, least viscous at the top. So I'd say something like gas or methane would be higher up the column and something like petrol and diesel would be lower down. There's different points that they go through and they condense at different sections and then they get taken away and put into their various forms of whatever they're going to be taken away for, um, such as petrol, kerosene, uh, diesel as well. Um, and at the bottom as well, things like the tarmac that's on our roads, that is really, really viscous, um, can be seen as slightly useless in certain types of, uh, well, in, in what we can use it for. But in terms of on the road, perfect. So it's got high boiling point, it's really viscous and thick. We know that's not going to set up, just suddenly set on fire. Um, so we can use that, those, those things on our roads as well. That is fractional distillations and the key points to it. Those things that you need to remember though, you need to remember why are long chain hydrocarbons got high boiling points? Well, you need more energy. If you've got a giant molecule, you're going to need more energy to break it apart. So it's got higher boiling points. You've got to put that energy into it. Whereas short chain hydrocarbons, have lower boiling points because they have smaller um, chains, they have smaller bonds, which means you need less energy to break them. So more energy for larger bonds, so you need that higher temperature to evaporate and condense them. And then short chain hydrocarbons, where they've got lower boiling points, uh, so easier to break, less energy you have to put into it. 
again, you've got to remember those four um, alkanes and alkenes. So alkanes, if you want to know, just go back to previous video, but we'll recap anyway. So alkanes, methane, ethane, propane, butane. Monkeys eat peanut, oh, was wrong. Monkeys eat peanut butter. Methane, one hydrocarbon. Ethane, two hydrocarbons. Propane, three hydrocarbons. Butane, four. Use your fingers. Doesn't matter if you're in lesson or in an exam, you're using your fingers. And then uh, the alkenes, ethene, propene, butene, pentene. Now, sometimes I wouldn't use this. I'd start here. So ethene, propene, butene, pentene. Now, we can't use methane, methane because it can't do a double bond. But two, hydrocar two carbons, three carbons, four carbons, and five carbons. Remember that an alkane has a single bond, an alkene has a double bond. Remember that alkanes, um, oh no, sorry, remember carbons have to make four bonds all the time. Alkanes are saturated, which means they can't make any more bonds. And alkenes are unsaturated as well. And then that links in straight into this, into larger long chain hydrocarbons that have higher boiling points and short chain hydrocarbons that have lower boiling points. What does viscous mean? Pause for effect. I can't because I'm teaching. Well, I'm on a video. So viscous meaning thick. Crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons, so they have different uh, melting and boiling points. You have long chain, short chain. We can separate through fractional distillation and that is using evaporation and condensation. We have to heat the crude oil so we start those things evaporating from each other. And then hydrocarbons condense, turn back to liquid when they reach their boiling point. Long chains at the bottom, they've got the highest, longest chains, the most amount of energy needed to go into it. And the short chains at the bottom, which is much cooler um, and less energy needed. Right, I hope that helped. Um, six mark uh, questions on fractional distillation can be found. Uh, there is some on the OneDrive as well for term six. And uh, if you need anything else, you just know, just need to email me. But I hope that helped and uh, I'm just gonna continue doing the videos. Thank you, enjoy, stay safe.